Hello everyone, I'm Andre from Luziogenic and welcome to this live stream. I hope the sound is right. I'm sorry in advance for you're gonna hear some noises probably because uh, there are people working in at the apartments in this building so yeah sorry sorry about that. So this live stream uh, I'm going to be making this live stream, live stream in celebration to reaching a thousand subscribers on YouTube. Uh, well, actually, I'm not there yet, but hopefully I will be. And I plan to uh, keep streaming until I reach a thousand. Or, um, and also I'm going to be developing some uh, physics based stuff. Uh, in Unreal Engine 4, so yeah, I hope, hope you do, YouTube doesn't bug and freeze like that until tomorrow. But yeah, we'll see. So I hope everything is working. Um, should be working. Looks okay here. So let's see, so in this stream, as I was saying, I'll be uh, developing some physics-based stuff and uh, I was thinking about some a very simple Rube Goldberg's machine. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, that is uh, the one that you put, you put uh, some, um, let's say, a ball in and then there's a complicated uh, uh, mechanism that basically f flips a switch or something so uh, we're gonna tr try to do something like that uh, something with a water mill I was thinking a scale and a cannon and we'll see we'll see if that works fine and if it's fun and maybe some of the stuff I don't know we'll see and um, yeah so also I'll be discussing some future plans for the channel. I also be making a video about this. Um, but uh, I thought I'll just also discuss it in this uh, live stream. <coughs> so I think uh, Let's let's just sketch really quickly what I what idea I have for this Europe Goldberg machine, and uh, then we'll see about the future plans, uh, and then we'll get back to developing stuff. Um, so let me just open a file here. I'll make a sketch real quickly. So I was thinking maybe we'll have some uh, water pouring on a windmill that acts then on some kind of trigger that lets some balls in and then um, maybe a cannon will fire. I don't really have a good um, a good idea for this, but we'll see. So I was thinking something like this. Let's see here. So here, uh, wait. Let's put something like this here. Okay, so. So let's see, I was thinking I'll do a water mill like this. Okay. And then its axis will be connected to something else. So there's water pouring, pouring from here. Let's see, like that. It's going to be turning the wheel. And then, the, of course, this, yeah. This sketch is just for, you know, showing something, it's not accurate, but yeah. 
so it's going to be turning a wheel the water of course will not actually be water we'll be using some uh, meshes that fall onto the wheel so the wheel rotates and then here we'll put something like a cog or something uh, I can't draw well right now but yeah it's a cog right okay and then there will be a mechanism here something like that that will turn it's, it's gonna be basically a switch that let's in so we'll have some balls here like that stacked up and this will go like that so it'll go up and down uh, depending on the the cog of the motion of the cog okay so basically we'll let one uh, ball out for each time it goes down and here uh, it's thinking we could do a scale like that and these will be falling in okay and we have here like that we'll see a scale so when this uh, when this gets full it will and I think we'll put a trigger here something like a push button so this will push wait okay so this will work like that <coughs> so it will go up and push on this and maybe this will be connected to a cannon let's see this is a cannon right <laughs> okay so this will fire a ball and uh, well I don't know after that so this is what I've got for now we can we can see how this goes later so let me save this <coughs> okay <coughs> So I hope the audio audio works. If it works, you'll probably hear some, some noises from the, the neighbors, but yeah, that's it. I can't do much about that. They will probably finish in uh, half an hour or something. Um, so yeah, that's what, uh, let me see. Okay, so we should be using all this and this here to make it I'm not sure what we should do with the cannon afterwards um, we'll see I was thinking maybe something cyclical that so it will fire the cannon and then restart something over here I'm not really sure well we'll see about that okay <clears throat> so I'm not seeing a lot of people so maybe I'll just uh, we'll just start developing stuff and we'll discuss the plans the future plans afterwards because if yeah okay so let's go ahead here I'll open the project that I had before
takes quite a while to load. Let's see what we have here. Let's. I think we'll start with the, um, the scale, right? So just testing the sound. Okay. Okay. So let's start with the scale, right? I feel that's the easiest part. Uh, I think I've. Close that. Ooh. Yeah, so I think we'll start. Let's just wait. I'll just open the the, the sketch again. Uh, sorry about that. So okay. Yeah. So here, as I was saying, we had some pouring water on the water mill, and then it's gonna activate this so i was thinking we start with the scale okay so let's see uh, let's just go here and i think we'll create something a new folder Gordor, mm, goldberg machine like this and let's create here we'll create the scale so actor uh, scale like that okay so this will ba basically be um, <coughs> a mesh that it's balancing on this point which has two other meshes attached to it but these meshes will try to keep parallel to the ground. So uh, we'll see how we can add the physics uh, constraints to that. Okay. Okay, so let's just add a cube for this. Let's say, let's say the base. Well, no, uh, this will be, I'll say plank, so we'll be making, sorry about this, we don't need this. So we'll be making this plank right here that sits on the base. Okay, so let's scale it down on the y-axis, we'll make here 0 0.2. Wait, not that one. Oh yeah, that's good. And on the z-axis we'll put 0 0.2 let's say 0 0.1 right or maybe less 0 0.05 like that that's that looks good let's get this down so you can navigate correctly okay so we'll put here in the middle we'll put uh, why do I keep opening? We'll put the base, this one, so we'll use a pyramid for that. So we should have that, I think. No, we'll just use a static mesh and we'll add a pyramid. So we'll say base. Okay. So here we'll put pyramid. Quad tri pyramid. Let's, well, we don't care, just quad pyramid, right? I will scale this to 0 0.1, I think. That should be okay. But that looks good. And I think we'll drop this down like this. So let's just give this a color. Uh, default. Default, like that. Yeah, 
Okay, so now we're gonna put in the these containers, right? So this here will be actually a container for the balls and the other one will just be, I don't know, just a cube scaled down, right? So here, let's add the container. What should we do for this? We'll just add three cubes, I think. I'll just add the other one first. So right what should we call this platter i think and we'll scale this down put it here like that maybe bigger on the all right i'll scale this manually okay so i think like that and like that right I don't like this, it's too thick. Okay, that's it, that's good. So 0 0.05, we'll leave this one. And we don't actually care the fact that it's in midair. Um, well, we can actually add, yeah, let's put at the blank, we'll add like a foot here. Let's say cube for that. And we'll drag it here, of course, I should have, let's just add a cube here and then we'll put a child. So, you know what, let's just drop it. We don't care about the visual stuff. Okay, so we could put, uh, we, what I wanted to do is put a, f a foot here so it doesn't look like it's in midair, but we don't actually care about that. So just take this, uh, let's kill a bit more, okay. And this will duplicate and we'll make the left platter. Just to make sure that it's at the exact location, we'll, pick, we'll take the X location and put it here also, like that. But here, I think we have to make some wall, walls for this. Uh, but let's just first make the get this working okay so we need this plank to be balanced here and move freely so let's add a physics constraint for that so we'll say plank axis and let's just I think we could parent it wait First, let's rotate it so that the twist motion is actually well in the plane of the rotation of the plank. So we'll take the rotation from here, we'll rotate it like that, 90 degrees. So that should, be, oh wait, not like that, of course. It should be on the uh, z-axis, 90 degrees. So now the twist motion is actually in the <coughs> rotation plane of the plank, okay? <coughs> so now we can add this here. We'll put the base as the first component, then the plank as the second. And then let's set, let's just get rid of this for now. Let's set the... Um, Let's set the limits. So linear limits will leave everything locked and angular limits will lock everything except the twist, right? So the twist. Uh, actually, this is not good. The twist should be in the horizontal plane, but let's just leave it to that. Okay, so let's see if this works already. I'll create a map here. Let's just copy something else that I've done and has a map in it. Ah, yeah, this one was from the last, last uh, live stream. Let's just open this one uh, was uh, was a fun one. So it was a 
uh, an office chair that actually has wheels and rotates as you can see here so that's really fun probably m yeah and we had this crane if you have uh, watched the other live stream get this crane that we could rotate yeah so let's just take this map from here and we'll use it to a Rube, Rube Goldberg machine so let's just re rename this <coughs> I will open this one, just get rid of these and this and let's drag in the scale oh that's a small scale okay I thought it would be bigger let's just try it like this so if I poke it of course we have to go in and for the plank we have to simulate physics uh, simulate physics also and the f physics constraint disable the collision between the objects I always forget this one but I do remember it sometimes so as you can see it moves in the vertical plane right so that's good that's what we want but let's make it come back to the middle right so now it stays there if we rotate it stays there but we want it to stay in the middle horizontal so for that we use a, an angular motor and because we use twist here we'll use twist here also so we'll have to set a target orientation which will be zero actually so it's this uh, position exactly and we'll set a strength for to maintain that position and what we want actually is just we want a really <coughs> low force because otherwise it will um, it will affect these other uh, the movement of the other of the platters okay so let's see about that let's try again so if I poke it now it comes back to the horizontal position really slowly but yeah it's because it's moving really slowly it goes to sleep so that's not great right let's make this bigger because it's really really small so on the X wait the X is like that we'll put two so it's gonna be two meters and here I think we'll put five was actually good before right let's put 0 0.2 here okay that's it and the platters will put just a hundred here right we'll just shift them a hundred on the X okay so that's good let's <coughs> see what we scale that looks better right yeah so again it tries to come back in the middle if I let it go but it needs a stronger force because uh, the plank goes to sleep actually so what we could do for that to mitigate that is actually uh, look at the sleep threshold for the plank so as you can see it's set to a sleep family normal but we can put it to sensitive and that means that uh, even small movements will not make it stop well eventually it will stop but it needs to be really almost its movement to be really almost zero so that it, it actually stops so it should be all better now let's see so as you can see it doesn't freeze anymore well eventually it does but for that we'll just have to look at the physics constraint here and just add a greater force of balance let's say two I think should be okay let's see again 
yeah that works let's get this higher and rotate it so it faces our player so it's more easily to manipulate it right like this so that's good okay now we have to attach the platters to the plank let's first attach this one <coughs> right platter and this should be left platter right okay so right platter will add a physics constraint to that and what we'll actually be doing is because we want this to be to stay horizontal always uh, we have to use two physics constraints, it won't suffice to use only one and that is because one will use one to fix its position to the plank right here and then the second will use to fix its rotation in the relation with the base so let's see so we have one physics constraint here so we'll Ladder. Uh, let's say what do we call it? Axis. Call this axis, but not necessarily an axis. Okay. So this will fix its position to the platter. Uh, so it moves with it. <coughs> so we'll put here uh, to the plank. Sorry. Plank. Right first component plank, second right uh, platter okay and then go to the linear limits here and I think let's just lock everything and we'll see what happens okay it's already good what, what should happen uh, wait in simulate physics for the right platter also good to disable collision here okay so let's try again so because it's right we've actually rotated it so it's this one so it starts to act like a like a um, scale right because we have a weight here it balances it starts to wane at this point as you can see now okay let's just attach the other one also so we have the left bladder we add a physics constraint here and we'll say uh, well we said here bladder axis we'll put right bladder axis and this one left bladder axis and for this one where is it so because it's a child to the left platter it's already in its middle right that's good so we'll put here the first one plank second one left platter now again disable collision here and left platter will simulate physics for that so let's try again now so as you can see it doesn't move anymore that's because the uh, forces are equal so if I poke it here well that is because yeah <laughs> that's normal that's because we didn't fix its rotation let's, that, let's do that for the left pattern uh, we have that where here so we'll lock this for now okay let's try again so of course it rotates around its axis uncontrollably that's because we didn't actually put a limit on the rotation of the plank but okay so this is already working kind of so let's see here let's put a limit on the rotation of the plank let me just check something so yeah that's good so again let's see this 
So the scale is working. The only problem is that we need to limit its rotation in the vertical plane. So it doesn't fall more than the horizontal, right? Well, actually something like this and like this, probably 15 degrees, I would say. So let's see plank here. We have plank axis for the rotation of the plank and we have angular limits. And for that, we have a twist motion. Let's put this to limited. So as you could see, there was a disc and now we've got this angle here. So we'll put this, as you can see, it's fortified. That's too much, I would say. I would say the 15 degrees should be better. Let's try it now. So, yeah, and that's because that's because we have elastic uh, limits, right? We have twist limits, a soft constraint. Let's disable that. We can imagine that they're uh, fixed with um, uh, with some iron, with some metal bars. Okay, so as you can see, it stops there, right? Okay, <coughs> now let's make these platters horizontal, right? Because that's how they work. They're usually horizontal. So for that, we use another physics constraint. So let's make the right one first, not the last one. <coughs> so let's rename this actually and we'll put this uh, uh, what should we put this point I would say may grab point I don't know it doesn't matter actually grab point <coughs> and we'll add another one and we'll say left Platter um, axis because it's this one that will permit the rotation, right? <coughs> so uh, let's see, because we're limiting one aspect with this physics constraint and the other one, the second, then. <coughs> We'll have to. <coughs> so first one will keep the lo location locked to the plank. So here we'll leave everything locked and we'll unlock all of this. And then we'll limit the rotation of this with the platter axis. So we'll free every linear limit and lock uh, the rotation. <coughs> so it will actually not be able to move to rotate at all uh, in relation to the ground so for that we'll lock everything and here so the second component will be left platter and the first one well, we could put the base and we'll probably put the base or we could actually leave it to none. And that will mean that it will anchor, anchor it to the, the actor itself. Well, let's just put it to the base because the base, well, if we wanted to grab actually the base to have it simulate physics and grab it, then we'll probably need it to, to be anchored to that. So we'll put left platter axis here to the base, right? So as you can see, they're connected. And now the linear limits are free because they're limited by this physics constraints, the constraint. And the other limits are actually locked. So this will move in relation to the base, will have the same rotation always. So. Let's see if we've actually made something work. 
So was it left? No, this one. Okay, this one. So as you can see, it works and it's actually fun. So it does exactly what we want it to do. So the, the position, it's locked with a some kind of like we can imagine a metal bar to the plank and the rotation is the rotation of the base as you can see here so it stays vertical right let's do the same thing for the second one we can actually uh, let's let's actually do a fun thing now well i think we'll do it here we'll, we'll actually simulate physics on this so y y you will see that we can actually grab it from here and they will stay horizontal but uh, let's try this afterwards well just let's put the platter <coughs> the right platter we'll do the same thing for that one right so put it like this yeah sorry about the noise but yeah it's probably gonna be over in a few minutes okay so let's add this here uh, add, uh, well, add the physics constraint. You know what? This is actually not a good idea. What I'm, what I'm doing because it's, um, I think it's. Well, no, I thought it would scale the physics constraint, but apparently not. So that's good. Okay. So, we'll say this. Right. Bladder. Uh, what was it? Axis, right? Because this will enable the will enable the rotation to be fixed to the base. So this one, let's. Uh, I said we will free all the angular limits because they will be set by the second one, right? So here the linear limits will be free. So this, if you're combining uh, two physics constraints together, always remember that the the aspects that one limits, uh, the, uh, the other one has to leave free. So that's why the first one will free the angular limits and lock the linear limits because the second one is the reverse. We, we haven't set this one, but we will. So here, it's actually going to lock everything, right? So now, uh, I think that should be okay, right? Have we forgotten anything? No. Let's try again now. So it works as intended. That's good. Now, as you see, if we... Yeah, when this reaches, when the plank reaches the limit, it actually stops dead. What we could do, well, just leave it to, we we'll should just leave it to that. Mm, yeah, so I think the force that balances the scale would have to be larger. Not sure why it doesn't, because we have the same masses here, right? Let's look at the masses of the platters. So this 0 0.2, well, that's not good. Let's put one kilo just to make it sh to make sure it's the same thing. Uh, one kilo, although it's not, I think we should be higher, but, and the positions, where is that? Let's zero this and this 11. Not sure what is that. I, th I think it should be, oh, yeah. Okay, so 11, that's good. Let's put this to 15 or 16. Yeah, 15. And this one also, 15. So that should be better, right? And I said we'll do the fun thing. Okay, so the, let's go to the base and we'll actually simulate physics on the base also. So let's see what happens. So if you play this, it actually falls to the ground and it acts as it should, like a like a scale actually. So let's put it here. 
But this one doesn't. Not sure why. That's not good, right? Okay, that's because, yes, we forgot to put something somewhere, right? <coughs> Just a second, I'll see something here and... <coughs> 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 Okay, so we forgot to do something. We forgot to set the constraint name I had here. So it should be the base, right? And right platter, right platter. I don't even know how it worked. Shouldn't have worked. Okay. <laughs> so as you can see, oh, that's because the force that I'm applying uh, with, that's not good. Let's try again. Let's scale this, right? Let's scale this like that. And we'll drop it down. And let's actually scale the base so it has more stability, right? Okay. So if I put it here again, well. And now, as you can see, it works. Now. Well, doesn't stay level. Hmm. Why is that exactly? It should, but there are some errors involved here. But yeah, uh, this one works already. Yeah. I would say it's good enough, right? <coughs> so first thing we did the first thing and we'll see about the others right okay so let's see here we wanted to do this one so the container we'll see about the container afterwards we just model some kind of simple box right uh, in Blender, probably. And <coughs> so let's test it with an object. So if we drop an object onto it, like this, it works, actually falls down. That's because, yeah, that's cool. Okay, so we've got this one down. <coughs> and what can we do now? Well, we could do this, the wheel, the water wheel, and the arm, and this one, the cog. The cog, I don't, yeah. Maybe we can do this one with the balls that we've got here. The release mechanism. So I think. Yeah, maybe that one. But I think we could take a break. <coughs> right, I see that. There are seven people online. Well, hope so. Um, we could talk about the future plans that I have with the channel. Uh, if you guys want, I don't know if there's someone listening. 
So we could do that or we could continue with the uh, the development. Well, if nobody's seeing anything, then I think we'll just continue with this. Okay. Now let's see. So we have this tube that holds the balls and let them lets them go on the platter of the scale right and then we have a button button here that should trigger the cannon right okay so let's make this release mechanism for the balls let's see how we can do that <coughs> I think I need to scale this up a bit more. Not sure about that. Um, but yeah, let's see about this scale right here. So I've got, this is two meters by two meters, right? Yeah, that's it. So the standard cube is one meter by one meter. So that means these platters are, let's see. <coughs> Zero point. Okay, so as you can see, the scale might not be right. Wait, it is actually. So yeah, don't know about that. But zero point up here, let's, let's just make this identical, right? 0 0.4 is 0 0.4. That means 40 centimeters in each direction. And then 0 0.05. So five centimeters on the Z axis. So like that. Let's try it again now. That's weird. Should come back. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Should come back to the middle, but not sure why. I think it's a because of the errors of the physics constraints. And because we use two physics constraints at the same time. I think that's <coughs> the problem. Let's see the plank axis here. I got rotation. Zero, that's good. And the plank. This looks good also. The place, the, the base is not actually in the center. So this might be a problem. So let's see. Put minus 30 here. So I think. Let's see again. It tries to stabilize it, but doesn't quite do it. <coughs> All right, let me just take a look at something off screen. I'll be right with you. Okay, so that's good. Okay. Just checking something about the stream, just to make sure it's okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, yeah. Let's see, just a second. So, you know what? We're celebrating the thousand subscribers on uh, YouTube so let's check if we've reached actually thousand subscribers well 998 Rendell I think it's Rendell well hey we've got some comments on YouTube congrats keep it up congratulations good well thanks a lot can Dermaz and Raziel 
Raziel. I don't know exactly. Thanks a lot for the comments. Yeah, just come online to the stream and uh, we'll do some cool stuff. So it's 998 now. So it's looking good. I think we should breach a thousand until morning. All right. <laughs> well, okay. So I was uh, saying I'll check some. Just just a second. I'll check something off screen and then I'll we'll be back to making stuff. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, we have created this, the scale that we wanted. Okay, that was too much. Um, and I think the scale is too low, so that's why we're getting, when I poke it, it just flies around, yeah. But I think it works good, and so it should be okay for what we need here. So let's do this mechanism that um, let the balls fall in onto the platter. So we'll do this, this is like an arm, or just like a something like an L-shaped arm that when we'll see how it works but when the cog rotates it should let one ball out each time so uh, we'll probably make it flexible at this point uh, so let's let's try and think about this a second so Let's see, the wheel rotates this way, so the cog will rotate that way, right? So when this rotates, it will push it up upwards, so that's not good, right? I think we need it to rotate the other way around. Yeah, and we'll add a spring here, right? Well, there's a spring like that, but, but not, not exactly like that. The rotational spring, I don't know how it's called, but... So we'll have a spring here, a physics constraint that keeps this up like that. And when we, when the cog rotates like this, and then then it will push onto the lever here. So let's call this lever, okay? So it'll push onto the lever and this will come down and let one ball fall. And then it should get up again. So I think we'll try to do that. Right. Uh, yeah, I think we'll try to do this arm uh, or lever. How do we want to call it? Okay, so let's see here. How we can can we do this? Uh, let's just. Um, so we'll create this device that hold the ball, which actually should be something really simple oh, let's ah yeah so we have a sphere here okay but we'll actually scale it down so i think we'll put this right smaller like that uh just drag it up a bit let's you know what let's test it with this uh with this um, with the scale let's see what it does so the scale doesn't actually come back but i don't know exactly why but it does work as it should so the platter stay horizontal and and they do actually they do come back but they're not convincing right So I think we'll add more to the force that we have here. Let's see the plank. So if we look at the plank axis here, we'll get into the the angular motor. Let's put this to five, right? So it come back, comes back to the horizontal position. Well, 
now it freezes and that's well that's normal but i don't know how to stop that wait wait what happens what uh, it doesn't want to come back that's weird i think it's due to to a problem in the physics constraints themselves let's let me get this back wait that's that might be a problem the fact that it get, doesn't come back that might be a problem but wait let's just get this higher you know let's put this to a hundred just Okay, so now it does exactly, it does what it's supposed to do, but 100 is a bit too much, I would say. Maybe. But yeah, it does, it does work. Okay, so wait, let's try it again. So when the ball leaves the platter, they try to balance it out, right? You know what? If it works like that, it's good for me. Yeah, actually works. But I think it adds. Yeah, so they do wobble like this. <laughs> that's that's weird. I think it's the physics constraint that try to try to balance each other out with the force that we added here this one that actually amplifies the movement so let's put this down to 50 and see what happens right ah uh, yeah i think we yeah of course that's yeah that's because we haven't uh used a friction so the platter is moving without the friction uh here so let's just add a twist here, angular motor, target velocity. So the target velocity would be zero and I think we can leave it to one and see what happens. Let's put this back to 100 or well, let's try it with 50 for, well, I said 50, I, I put it in 60, but that's no problem. Oh, okay. So let's see if it stabilizes now. It should. Although the force to stabilize stabilize is too great and the friction is too small, I would say. Yeah, we don't want to wait 10 minutes for this to stabilize. Let's put this to 20 maybe. That's better. Well. Yeah, there's definitely a problem there. But yeah, normally we wouldn't have a problem with this actually because what we're trying to do here is <coughs> so this will actually have a cube on it and then uh, it will stay down and then we, we put balls on it here then it will go up and push uh the switch so i don't think we should have a problem with that right <coughs> so it's only the balancing uh, that creates a problem but yeah so normally this should be like in the real world but apparently it doesn't work like that maybe if we do another configuration here with the physics constraints but I don't know. I think we should leave it like this. And we'll simply uh, put a sphere um, cube here. Like that. I'll just put a cube on it. And let's just uh, like, let's fix this uh, so the base doesn't simulate physics anymore because we don't want it. But I, was, I just wanted to show you that you can actually can actually move it somewhere else you know like a real scale you put it where you want and uh, it should work right 
Does it stabilize? I think it kind of stabilizes now, right? Nah. So we'll see that later. So let's block, let's lock the base. So we won't simulate physics anymore and put this down here like that and we'll put the cube on it right maybe down a bit more put uh wait no 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 like this and put the cube on it and then we'll see what happens so as you can see the ball doesn't have enough force to move the cube and that's because it has too greater mass so 37 let's see the ball is at three kilos so let's put the ball at five kilos and the cube at five also so i think we'll make the platters larger and everything larger larger actually let's see so the plank uh, on the x-axis we'll put three so it's, it should be three meters now. And this will put here on the X to 150. <coughs> like that. Here also. Minus 150. <coughs> and make the platters larger. We'll put, you know what? We'll up them to one meter. That's easier one meter like that and just I think that's okay <coughs> so let's see of course we have to center them mm, that's it and then here let's see oh, that's cool that's very cool so wait with the objects on them do they actually do they actually balance out that would be funny well apparently they do wow that's too great their force but apparently they do so let's leave it again do they balance out so i think they do Oh, that's awesome so you could actually use this so the, if they don't balance out you can just attach one object to them one invisible invi object to them so that just adds mass so y it's just uh, it balances the um, the movement okay so they work as they as intended now right that's really nice okay <coughs> so we can continue with this so we'll we'll try to make the arm <coughs> and the balls here that fall onto the pla platter so we'll just probably make a cube and blender and that should be okay then let's see here i think the what does this so we have this sphere that has now let's see the scale of the sphere so we put it put it to one so i think it's one meter in diameter yeah so if we look at this one it should be 0 0.2 0 0.2 let's put this 0 0.3 let's say so that would mean 30 centimeters in diameter. Okay. Let's see here. Let's just have fun with this one. <laughs> That's cool. Wait. That's really nice. Ah, 
Ah, yeah. So now, it, if I look at, at it better, what I see is actually it's actually um, balancing as it should with the right forces. So I think we have a problem here. Let's see. Look at the scale of the physics constraint. I think the physics constraint as uh, constraints are skewed. Let's see. Let's look at the. Let's look at the gizmos, right? I think they are skewed. I think they are. So the problem that could introduce problems. So when I created them, I actually created them directly as the children of this of the the objects, but the objects were um, scaled. So that is not good. So when I created them directly as children of the meshes, it actually scaled them. Because if we if we look here, we have they have one scale one one one. But the problem is that their parent doesn't. So that means they're scaled also. Because they just have a scale of one relative to their parent. So I think yeah so you just you should be careful with it because i'm doing um because i'm doing just uh kind of a developing right now really quickly i'm not doing any um models 3d models for the meshes uh i tend to use this i use uh, cubes and stuff like that just to simulate how it works and yeah apparently if we look at this Right. So now it is actually balancing as it should, right? Yeah. So I think we ha had a problem with the scales because uh, immediately, as I said, these scales higher it started to work as it should so um, what we could do here and take take each of these phys physics constraints make them a child of the actor itself so we have this one and then um, grab them again and put them as the child of the platter and now if we look wait 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 Hmm, that's weird. That should have worked. Should have reset it there. Reset their um, size. So make new root. Attach. So we have to attach them. Yeah. So we have to put one here on the Z scale. And if we put it again in the right platter, then we can see it's 20. So now it actually has the right size uh, rel relative to the world scale. So I think that's the problem that we were having before. Uh, let's see. Come on. So you make this attach here. we we'll put the scale on Z to 1 and grab it back to the right platter. Same thing here, attach like that, put the scale to one. Yeah, so this is a bit tedious, but it should be better like that. Normally you, you shouldn't have this problem because you're using uh, meshes that you don't have to scale. So each time you scale a mesh and you have a physics constraint, which is uh, a, ch a child of that mesh, just make sure that you scale the, the physics, so we, uh, you actually create the physics constraint outside of the mesh and then you drag it in because it's going to be scaled automatically afterwards. So this one, it's not a child of anyone, so that's good. So let's try it again now. Let's see. Let's remove the objects. So as you can see now, we have the 
the force that I was talking you about, the force that I said is too great and it was weird to add this one, 20. So this should actually be non-existent or something to 1. So we, if I put 1 now, it should work, I think. Let's see, wait, let's remove these objects. So it balances out by itself, like that. So we grab it, we put it here, and then we let it go. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, come on. So I think it goes to sleep. Yeah, it's bit. Yeah, we have to put this higher a bit. Two maybe. Let's say. I know we've been. Uh, staying too much on this scale but it's important I think so it kind of balances now yeah it's it's all it's almost there okay so if one if you want it to balance just easier just put five here and that should be okay right let's get this out of the way and then yeah, so this, if you look at it, it, it kind of looks like a real scale now. The movement of a real scale, right? Yeah. So, I think we're done with this. That's good. That's It's good like this. <coughs> okay, so what do we do next? Well, we said we'll do... We'll do... Wow. Ah, sorry about that. Neighbor is in hardware mode. Okay, so... So we'll do this tube with the uh, balls that falls here and this... Um, and this arm, right? So let's... Let's just do the arm. Ah, that's not pleasant. And we'll just do four walls with the, the cubes, just really quickly, like that. Just just to just to test this. Okay, which we don't need. Uh, damn. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, uh, you know what, we can actually use... Um, wait, let's rotate this a bit. 90. Sorry about that. I thought they would finish by now. So we can actually use, uh, let's see here, volumes. Uh, volumes. Blocking volume, uh, I think. Physics volume. This one, we can use a physics volume actually. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So let's try this. That doesn't work because we have to physics on contact by default the origin for it to vector, however, figures to the other actions does this form to be affected so uh, yes because it's over wrap or dynamic we have to make block all dynamic but that's not good because it has to keep it inside so it has to keep it inside I haven't actually used this you know what we won't use this Let's just use uh, these and we'll rotate them 
duplicate them like that rotate 90 degrees and <coughs> We can actually make them uh, have be of glass, right? Yeah. So I have a material glass that should be a wait. That's not good. <coughs> glass window. No way. Wait, wait. This one. Uh, sorry about that. It's material glass, right? That's it. So let's see. Well, they are similarities physics. That's not good. So here we'll uncheck that and it should work now. So yeah, it stays inside. <coughs> okay, so now let's make the arm so the arm will just will just make a new actor for it so how do we say release arm right I think that's good release arm <coughs> So we'll add two cubes, I think, yeah, one arm, one and arm two, I think, maybe, oh sorry about that, that's a cube, and arm two, let's check what happens on YouTube. Let's see if it actually, yeah, so 19, 999, so we're almost at 1,000. <sighs> yeah, that neighbor though, seriously, okay, so let's kill this down, oh, it's just like that no maybe yeah that means 10 cent oh, we'll put this at 50 centimeters oh come on it's really not cool I okay that's two, 0 0.2 uh, okay so I think we need this. Let's drag this into the scene and see if it's too much. Uh, no, I'll drag this. We'll take this here. Can we make this into a mesh? Because I would want that. Actually, it should be smaller, I think. Yeah, smaller. So we'll take these and make them into a mesh that should be fine right that's good so when I, I wanted to box box in the sphere as much as it can so let's we'll select the four and I think we can create a mesh with it right what was it edit focus turn into a mesh I can't remember group uh, group we could use group but transform not that uh, mm, convert actors to static mesh and that's it so uh, let's see this where should we put this here and where was that? Oh, Goldberg, this one. Okay. So we have the mesh here. We can get rid of the, these, I think. Right. Yeah. 
that's it that's better it's actually easier to use as a mesh uh, just like that so if we let's rotate this so we make sure that it works correctly wait uh, oh yeah there's a problem with the collision hmm. that's not good right I thought it would work let's see the mesh you wanna know what we can actually con I think we can make its collision generate this collision uh, you know what I should have made this in blender that would have been easier uh, collision presets no that's not that won't work okay let's control Z what we had before because that was better Where is this one? Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we have this here and let's group it. Oh, come on. <sighs> Sorry about that. I may pause the stream until they finish. I don't know. <sighs> okay. So let's see group where it was that group okay group actor so now if i rotate this it should stop the ball from moving right that's good that's what we want <coughs> okay You know what? I think we'll just. I think I'm gonna simply mute the stream and uh, maybe I'm gonna do this water mill. And I'm gonna do this water mill in a Blender and then we'll use it afterwards. Uh, yeah, that's better because they just. the noise is too much. So I'll mute it and I'll create the water mill in Blender and I'll see you afterwards.
Hello everyone.
Okay, so I'm back with voice. I hope the neighbor doesn't cause any problems anymore. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm developing now. I'm, um, I'm modeling actually the uh, wheel for the water wheel. Uh, for those that came in um, later, we're trying to do this. Uh, what we sketched here, uh, water wheel that actually uh, that. Uh, rotates a cog and actually pushes that here pushes an arm let's go of these um, spheres and the platter of this uh, uh, scale and then pushes a button and um, fires a cannon oh that there there it is again yeah so this is what I'm doing here and uh, I was actually muting because of the neighbor I hope he won't continue too much but let's see so I'm using an array here and a plane axis to add this so, yeah I think I'll mute it again because yeah probably unbearable for you guys so uh, yeah th but I'm just gonna add uh, here um, an array and a plane axis of rotation for that so we'll see afterwards
Yeah, so I'm back again. Hope this time the, the neighbor has finally finished. We'll see about that. Okay, so the wheel is almost finished, I think. Uh, we just ne need something so that when the spheres fall down on top of it, it just uh, they just make the wheel rotate. Okay, so I think that's it. We'll just let's just duplicate this. Whoa, I forgot about that. So I think we have to, yes, we have to take everything and duplicate it uh, on the y-axis. <coughs> That's, it actually did that because I had this, the axis here that was used by the the array modifier here, this object offset. So we'll just convert this well this one is okay so we'll convert this to a mesh All right so should be okay yes and we'll delete the object and we'll join this <coughs> so now we have a single object and let's reset its rotation uh, rotation <coughs> So now I can export it to Unreal, but to export it, I'll just I have to put it here in the middle. So snap to send selection to cursor like that. And then I can export it. So export FBX. We'll see FBX. I think that's okay. Uh, water wheel. Let's set some parameters here only selected objects and we'll take only the mesh geometry okay that should be fine right so I spot this so let's go to unreal now and we'll try to import it so we had it export here let's take this So we'll say import and we'll take the water wheel. Uh, let's import it like this and we'll see afterwards. We don't care about this actually. So if we drag it in, rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. This is kind of the, the scale we want it. So basic shape, let's put this fault. Sorry, that's the material actually, default material. That looks better. So let's just quickly uh, make this into uh, an actor. <coughs> So we'll say water a water wheel like that. Let's just add the uh, let's add a static mesh. And we'll say wheel and we'll say here wheel. What was that? Water wheel. That's it. So we'll rotate this like that, 90 degrees. And I think it's okay for now. Let's add the physics constraint to make it constraint to make it, wait, not physical animation. That's not good. physics constraint and we'll oh, actually <coughs> uh, anchor this to the parent so we'll leave none here component 2 wheel 
like that and let's leave it rotating like this so we'll see that the twist it's twisting right so we need it to twist in this plane so let's rotate the physics constraints the physics constraint like this 90 degrees so now the twist is in this plane right so here we'll leave locked the linear limits and the angular limits twist so lock here and then we only have free rotation in this plane right let me just do something here <coughs> i'll do something off screen okay Let's see here. Okay, so now let's see here. So we've got the wheel. <coughs> let's put a color here also. <coughs> Default material like that, and let's make it rotate. So we'll put wheel axis, axis here. Now, ah, so this is good actually. So let's add some friction uh, to the twist movement. Let's put it to five because it's gonna be a big object. Let's see. Mass zero, that's not good. Let's put that to 50 kilos, right? Uh, we haven't simulated physics on it, but uh, let's uh, let's get this out of the way. Uh, so wheel here simulate physics. We can't simulate physics. That's probably because it doesn't have a collision set to it. So let's add a collision. We'll just use generate collision from, you know, the collision generator that it has here. So let's see here. Collision. Now is import settings. Uh, let's see here. Collision. Convert auto convex collision. That should be good, but hull count will put 50 maybe let's see what it gives us that's too little that's not good so hall uh, the precision should be okay max hull verts well let's put this to 30 we don't care about this we can actually make this <coughs> custom but mm. It doesn't want to create. That's weird. Wait, let's see this. So, come convex boxes to convex. Uh, add sphere simplified. I don't know what this, what happens here let's try this i think that was too much mm. 
Okay, that's better. Ah, uh, yeah. Yes, that's better. Okay, so I think we can leave it at that. Yeah. Let's save this. Let's see. So now if we go back into our <coughs> actor, then we should be able to set it simulate physics right here. Then we'll put it to 50 kilos. And let's save that again. So now let's drag it into the scene like that. Rotate it 90 degrees. Okay. Now let's see here. Can we grab it? Yes, it does move, but well, apparently it's too much. The friction is too much. So Let's put it to zero then. We'll see what happens. That's good. Okay, so we'll put it to one. That should be fine. Just one should suffice. So remember that this friction that you put here uh, will be relative. So naturally, the friction is the same. It applies the same force, but depending on what uh, the mass is of the object, uh, this will have a different effect. Okay, so uh, yeah, so we have the problem that the the mass of the object is not in the center of the object, so that's why it does that. Yeah, so I think we should be fine. We don't need that because we have greater masses. So let's see this. I'll put this here. Let me put a platform so I can stand on it. Wait, that's not right. Okay. Like this. So uh, we'll take, I think we'll take this. I don't know. Wait, we'll just make them fall on the wheel, right? Just put some spheres that and make them fall on the wheel now in order to for them to <coughs> release all their energy into the wheel then i'm probably gonna make a non-elastic material a physics material so let's do this let's play again now yeah so it does work but the problem is that the center of mass is not the center of uh, the mesh, right? So for that we can, let's go ahead, uh, we'll fix this right now. Okay, so in the event begin play here, we'll take the center of mass. We can actually <coughs> set a uh, Um, you can actually move the center of mass so set center of mass like this and this if you look closely here it says the offset for the center of mass of the object from the calculated position so we set the offset as the center of mass so if we get yeah let's get the center of mass and see where it is like this uh sorry we'll just print this let's print like this okay Okay, so let's see. So if we play now, we can see center of mass 325. So what we actually need to do is take the center of mass and invert it. And 
then set the new center of mass that will bring the center of mass to this uh, pivot point of the object so i'll take this to get now we'll multiply with minus one like this and then set it here and drag this so if we play now we shouldn't see any movement from the wheel because it is well that's not it right i think we moved it even further away so wait, let me see again uh so 300 ah yeah that's because the center of mass is in uh, world units i think let's see i guess yes yeah, so we need to yeah so we need to translate it into local units let's see so we take the transform of the actor get actor transform come on and we'll say a vector transform a location so this will transform so the actor to world transform we actually need inverse transform location like this so that means we're going to take the actor transform so it's actor to world now it's going to be world to actor and we'll take this and now here we should have the local coordinates. Let's plug them in here and see what happens. It should work if we plug them in here already, but let's see. Yeah. So as you can see, it works now. So the pivot point is actually in the middle. Let's add a bit of the friction here just a bit okay let's see friction friction here I we'll actually added that so that's okay we'll leave it to that and that should be fine okay now so we've got the balls that fall onto the wheel as water wheel would right so actually you can uh, make a generator here <coughs> So we can make a generator, but I think we'll do it afterwards. Let's see. So this one does. Let's add a physics. We'll say, what was it? Uh, material blendables. Uh, uh, so we need a physics material for the uh, balls. So they act kind of like water, you know. Uh, so it was that physics physical material okay okay so we'll say water droplets call them water droplets but they're kind of big but we'll see about that so here we'll just do let's see friction uh, we need the friction to be higher as high as it can right and restitution so let's see here uh, the bounciness okay so restitution uh, I thought if we lower this then it will transfer all its kinetic energy so but I think it should be restitution for the other one maybe let's see so let's see this We'll take the physical material here, like that. Let's see what's happened. Uh, let's see again. 
yeah so I think it will work let's see density so if you look at the restitution restitution combined mode override so we'll put wait why can't oh yeah okay so this was this here so we'll put minimum like this so I think it might work so let's just because we want this to transfer all its kinetic energy and not um, bounce so let's see again well we probably need to set the mass of this lower let's see lower mass here mass wheel and instead of 50 kilos we'll put it to 10 kilos maybe let's see again yeah so it's starting to work okay that's good now let's I'll create now uh, an object generator so we'll generate an object like this that will fall onto the wheel uh, we don't care that it bounces around actually that much so let's see let's create an actor what let's see water droplet Droplet generator so let's see here I think we'll just here or we'll just use an event tick and use and generate and spawn actor spawn actor from class right class here will put static mesh uh, can we use sphere directly sphere reflection capture no trigger sphere no so static mesh then static mesh actor collision override handling well no let's see spawn transform okay and then let's see here mesh actor set mesh wait so get static mesh component uh, set static mesh I think that should be good okay pass this along so new mesh we'll take the sphere and let's just try it like that but I think wait spawn actor pin uh, spawn transform us of course so let's uh, make transform like this and we'll leave it to that so I think was this world transform or local transform I don't know so collision we'll just leave it to that and then we have to we have to add, add a weight here uh, so time uh, one second right Uh, 
Uh, wait. Finish. Uh, I think this one, right? No, wait. When finishing, should be this one. So let's see. Error. Wait. That's corner. Wait. Delay. This that's better. So let's see one second. That should be okay. Let's add uh, here the generator. And let's play. Well. Static mobility, okay. So we'll set uh, simulate physics, uh, simulate like that, okay. Was it that? No. But mobility is, wait. Calling set static mesh on. But mobility is static. So what's the problem? It should work. Target. Hmm, that's weird. Set mobility, wait, movable, okay. My bad, so simulate fees, that's good also, but. So it kind of works, but doesn't quite. Let's see. I put this here, I just simulate like this. Uh, that is simulate physics. That's probably because this transform, we should, and this is world transform. So we should get actor transform. So it spawns exactly in the place of the actor itself. So let's try again now. So uh, let's see like this. They do not simulate physics, or they do, but they do apparently. But I cannot grab them. Not sure why. That's good at least. And we'll say, let's see here, break. And we'll set. And we'll set here put make transform like this make transform location rotation that's good and scale we we'll just put this to 0 0.3 was that I think okay so that should be smaller right That's good. So let's take this, the generator, put it here like that. And we'll eliminate all of this. Oh. And 
and we'll put the let's have to set the mass right so it's static mesh component this is the same so we can use the same here I'll just drag it in here so we'll say set mass uh, static mesh component same thing yeah um, like this put it here it doesn't uh, yeah mobility like this okay mass scale so mass scale so we need a mass of how much was that That's five kilos. So five, I think. Uh, okay. So let's play now. I think that's more than five, but it should be okay. So what we'll do is actually put this to two and make this at 0 0.3 I think let's see now so actually the wheel has to have a bigger mass because it doesn't have inertia so let's see here take the wheel let's add a bigger mass for the wheel yeah 50 I think it has it has to have a more inertia so it stays rotating yeah as you can see it stays rotating now yeah so we'll have to put a certain life for this um, end life right Let's see how we can we do this. I can't remember this one. Life. Uh, no, we have to destroy them. Uh, well. Mm. <laughs> well, there's two ways for doing this. We can either create a blueprint for that, for them, or we can put them in a vector and then destroy them one by one by one yeah mm. not sure how to do that if we do a blueprint yeah so I think let's see so i think we can create an actor for the droplet yeah i think that's easier and we set its mass and then we just we just uh, we just spawn the actor here yeah that's okay let's do that so new actor here so say water droplet wait haven't we done this before no okay so we'll put here water droplet water droplet let's see here so let's add a sphere and we'll put this to 0 0.3 as we said before we would do like that okay mm, so let's see now we, let's put this to, to, we, do we have water here well that's some water wait that's water ocean maybe that's okay so 
Yeah, so I think when we get the collision here, it will have to destroy itself. So, so here, event, uh, we'll say, let's see. So, on component hit, uh, yeah, this one, on component hit, we'll say destroy. Uh, destroy component like that and actually we would have to destroy this actor itself let's see destroy actor yeah because the whole uh, we have to destroy the whole actor okay so we'll put here uh, I don't care about these, I think. Yeah, we'll see about that later. So when w the whole, the, well, I have to check here that we actually hit the ground. So the ground would have to be, or we'll just check the static, a static object, object. So let's see here. Let's get back to water droplet. So we'll say hit actor. So here we'll have to check if if it's static. Get mobility. Uh, wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. No, sorry. Other actor, other component here. Get mobility like this one. So equals equals static then if we hit a static if we hit a mobile object then it means it's the wheel if we hit a static object and then it, we want it to destroy so we'll branch here and we'll say if this is true then we can destroy the actor so let's see if this works so we'll have this water dropper here okay so let's just back off a bit. Of course, we haven't simulated physics. Simulate physics. Okay, let's try again. Doesn't work. Uh, now that's weird. Hey, old siren. Hey, thanks for the follow. And welcome to the stream. Thanks a lot. Maybe finally, some people join in. Cool. Okay, so what was I saying? So when we are encountering a static object, we want to destroy the actor itself. But the problem is it doesn't. So let's see if it actually. If it, let's see if it sees this. Uh, event no so it doesn't see the event that's the problem okay why because we have on component hit sphere ah yeah because we haven't so there's an event for the hit component generate uh, we generate overlaps hit event sim no wait 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 that was the one Generate, wait, simulate generate hits event. That's the one. Okay, so now let's see again. Yeah, so it disappears. Okay, so now what happens is that when we hit, so we, well, it's less talking, more doing. So instead of here, just uh, getting, so instead of spawning a sphere, we'll just spawn this actor right so here uh what was the class of the actor we'll put droplet water droplet that's it and we don't care about the mobility because we've already set it not the mesh not anything so this is actually is this scale to one because we've uh, we've already scaled 
the the sphere itself so let's try again now okay mm, yeah so when they hit the ground they actually disappear that's cool so now we don't have any rogue actors you know running in the scene so as you can see the water wheel is spinning and we've got droplets coming in so well if we can call them that yeah so let's see <coughs> we've actually created a physical material for this that it doesn't have as restitution or it's almost zero so let's put it to zero and let's add this to the sphere uh, where was that uh, it's the sphere right here and we'll go into the physical so we put droplet was it yes so let's see how it behaves now yeah, so as, you, as you can see they don't bounce around so that's good because when they land on the wheel they just stay in place and move the wheel further so that's better if not they would bounce around like that okay so let's see and this let's put these together let's make some room here right it's starting to take shape right what we're trying to do uh, let's make the let's make the balls fall on the scale right so take this from here okay let's just drag this let's see wait I haven't moved the generator so we'll take the generator move it here let's see from the top what we're doing okay so we've got the generator here that's I think that's good it falls exactly on the the edge let's go to perspective <laughs> old siren says building a carnival of physics objects well not not exactly let me show you so the plan was this to have a water wheel well water is difficult to do so i'll actually wait let me come back to perspective so i've actually done uh, droplets that are these are droplets okay so we're just really yeah symbolical okay so i want to do this and spin the wheel here and then this would have a rod and a, a, recall, a cog here and this would be an arm that will let go of these balls into this plat platter of the of the scale that you see here and then the scale would tip and push this button and then it would fire the the cannon so i thought that would be fun um, and uh, yeah we'll see how it goes but let's see i don't know if you saw this but this is scale that actually works and the platters stay horizontal so we've put an object here and let's take this one from here i think these are identical so if we drop them here no they are not so this actually acts exactly like a scale right <laughs> oh yeah that's cool it's cool yeah so let's take this one okay simulate physics mass in kilograms so let's just copy it okay and i'll show you i just let's just have this one drop from there wait i get let me get closer that's cool that should be good so as you can see it actually balances out
So if I, yeah. So so the plan would be to have here a cube or something like that to act as a counterweight, and then have drops ball from here, and fill this platter as the wheel rolls. And then we'll maybe we'll do something with the cannon that resets the water somehow. I don't know, but but we'll we'll see. It should be fun, nonetheless. Okay. So yeah. Uh, let's put this closer, because I wanna I wanna see it actually interacting with. Uh, wait. Uh, like this. And we'll put this cube here. Let's see. Yeah, so it's already starting to take shape. That's fun. <laughs> okay, didn't expect those to go there. Oh, that's actually on the, the same line. That's awesome. <laughs> okay enough so uh, what can we do now so I had I wanted to implement this arm so when the cog rotates counterclockwise it would then pull the arm down and we will have a physics constraints that a uh, physics constraint that keeps the arm up so we'll see if that works because I don't know we'll see yeah we'll see let's see okay so here we don't uh, I just made this in blender but we don't actually need anything else for this let me make the axis because the thing is we don't actually need a cog we just we can make it with two cubes like that two planks so let's close this. The water works now, <laughs> if we can say that. Okay, and let's go to the actor wheel. Uh, and here, let's put the rod in the middle, the axis. So we'll do that with the cylinder, like that. Uh, we'll scale it down, let's see. Okay, rotate it and scale it down, okay. Right, in 90 degrees, put it, uh, you know what, we won't scale it down probably, or maybe, let's see, let's make this another color, hey thanks uh, old siren, thanks for joining in the chat, I've been streaming for like two hours and there were people but nobody said anything so I was like, maybe something is not working, but I think it is so okay uh, so we'll scale this down I just, yeah I think it's good to scale it down okay scale it up on the z-axis well it's z-axis more precisely yeah I don't know if you know but I'm actually celebrating uh, a thousand subscribers well it says well, does it say? Well, it doesn't say actually. What's the? That's weird. The title of the stream is all wrong. Wrong. Because it says mechanical joints, but I what? I what? Okay, that's weird. That's not good. Okay, I have to change that. Sorry, just a second. I have to change that because why okay just just a second i'll change that because that's that's really not okay because yeah right just a second Uh. 
Wait, so I think it should be... I don't know why it didn't work before. So, update information... Wait... Okay, so I think it's updated now. Yeah, sorry about that. I mean... Ah, yeah, okay. Okay, <laughs> so I don't know why the title didn't stick. I put it in um, Streamlabs, so I have no idea why it didn't take, but I actually changed it now, so it should be okay. Yeah, okay, sorry about that. Okay, so we were making the axis okay and here we'll just put two cubes in a cross like that and it should work as a cog you know you just need something to pull on the arm so cube here and you know what we could just leave the cube like that maybe i don't know let's just let's scale it a bit so the x with on the z this one we'll put zero point three maybe it takes away <laughs> yeah I, be, 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 yeah i don't know but it takes like two hours i don't know yeah it's weird but yeah it doesn't matter what matters is that uh, you guys are here so that's okay so let's see default okay let's scale this a bit like that so my plan is for this to rotate and it will push on the arm okay so as we see here it would push with this on the arm and then the arm the other part will drop well actually go down and the wheels would drop okay so i think let's see how this works actually okay that's normal because we haven't <clears throat> so this would have to be a child of the wheel and this would have to be a child of the wheel so let's let's see again this yeah and of course we don't have the same center of mass okay so that might be a problem because hmm. here before i've uh, actually done this so the problem is the wheel uh the 3d model of the wheel didn't have the same center of mass as the pivot point so it will it would swing like that so i did this which took the center of mass exactly in the uh, the pivot point. So now that we've added this, I don't know what to do. Let's just deactivate this and see what happens. So as you can see, it would rotate. Yeah, I think we wouldn't care about that. Yeah, I think it just works like this. So here, if we look, uh, let's see, what was that? Yeah, so yeah, that was the 3D model. Just save and close that. Okay, so this will, I think it, yeah. So it would have to rotate the other way around, so it pushes this downwards. <laughs> Looks like a giant key. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, it does so this would have to rotate the other way around let's see let's get this to the top here and we'll put the like here right perspective let's see again yeah so that's good maybe a little bit to the right Uh, the speed is not constant, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. 
So we got this down. Let's see here. We'll let's just make this a smaller a bit like that. Okay. But you know what? If we don't want it to look like a wheel, we just duplicate this and just rotate. Yeah, come on. 90 degrees. Maybe it looks more like a wheel, uh, a key now. Sorry. <laughs> well, that should work, right? That's good. That's a cog right there. Okay. So we have got this arm. Okay, let's do the arm because it's been a while since I've tried to do this. So let's see, create an actor. Uh, see, uh, how do you say? Uh, arm, arm. Uh, uh, arm. Oh, let's see, arm. I don't have inspiration for names now, but yeah. So the thing is with this arm, <clears throat> when the cog pulls, pushes on it upwards, right this way, it will have to go downwards and then it will have to come back, right? Until the next movement of the cog. Okay. So let's see this. It's going to be a bit tricky because of the masses and the forces involved because it's kind of kind of like in real life when the the force of the water will actually have to push on the arm with enough force uh, yeah it's all interconnected because because if we if the the arm doesn't have enough force enough uh, the how to say the spring that holds the arm up doesn't have enough force the wheels the 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 spheres will uh, come down by themselves so yeah but let's do them one at a time so we'll add a cube here just uh, arm one did I actually start to develop this was wait uh, ah release arm yeah sorry about that I actually did started before yeah we'll take this okay it's already made so it's just two two cubes like that i'll just kill them a bit more i think and this one yeah so we'll put here uh we actually don't don't have to be connected so oh, let's see so they would have to be like this but I don't know of the angle now. Uh, wait, actually, they can be horizontal, right? Yes, they can be horizontal. So they just do we actually need this to be two? Like an elbow and an arm like that. We don't We just one we just need one. That's it. So let's just put this to the center like that. And we'll add a physics constraint here. And this will, uh, so let's put a twist. Let's rotate this so that the twist is like that. <coughs> so put this like that. So now we have the twist in this plane, which is what we want, because this is how it's going to be twisting, right? I think. Well. So arm axis and here we'll add forces so it comes back. So now let's so we'll lock this and we'll leave only twist motion and then we'll add uh, an angular motor uh, for the twist. So we'll say the target orientation is going to be horizontal, right? And we'll put a force of 100 here, let's say. Let's scale this a bit more. Wait, not that. The arm, actually. Oh, that's too much. That's okay. Okay, so wait. We didn't. So, simulate physics on the arm. That's cool. And actually, we have to connect them. Wow. 
So the physics constraint will leave none for the first. That means it's gonna grab onto the the actor itself. And the second one will put arm, just arm, and will actually modify the name here. We'll put arm here. So it's wait. Let's see again, arm here. So it's blue. We know it's connected now. I think it should be okay, right? So let's see. Uh, where was the arm? Put it here. Well, that's kind of small, right? Let's rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, like that. Okay. So if we've done our homework, homework correctly, this should leave it down and come back here. So let's see. That works as intended, right? Nice. Okay. But we need some friction here so that it doesn't bubble. Right? So this angular motor, target velocity, twist here, zero, zero. And here we'll put maybe 10. Let's see if it stabilizes more quickly. Yeah, that should be, that should be okay. And actually, I think we need a bigger, bigger force. Wait, not this one. Let's kill this one. And bigger force that holds the arm in place. That means 150 here. And let's put this to 15. Right? So it looks more sturdy. Yeah, let's try again now. Uh oh, yeah, we're starting to have problems. <laughs> yeah, so it's already starting to happen. What we can do is actually increase the the pull of the. I can't remember the term now, but if we we'll pull on it farther away from the pivot, it will have more force. So we we can drag it like this. Now let's see. So it's already starting to work. We can also uh, uh, Old Siren says, I don't know if you know this, but you can have a real play at your camera location instead of your of your player star so you don't have to move back and for so much uh yeah sorry about that is it play here or is it i think i knew this it was alt p or something no alt p was play or control alt p wait right click play here wait was that what was that you're right you're right it i think it's yeah play from here right no that was not so which one was that? Uh, how can I play directly from my camera? In the drop down, uh, there is a checkbox play button. Ah, you mean simulation, right? Like this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. So I, I get that it's... Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I switched too much. Okay, I'll be doing that then, you know. So what was... Uh, wait. Alt S, right? Okay, so Alt S. Okay, I'll do that from now, from now. Okay, sorry about that. Maybe it's. Yeah, that's good. So we have this already done. Thanks a lot for the tip. Okay, so we have this. Now we want to put here the stack of balls that will drop. And we actually had this done here. We had a group actor, which is not great, but you know. Mm, so that's these. I have really. Is there? Wait. So you said in the drop down from the play button there is a checkbox. Wait. Ah yeah. Okay, I didn't know about this one. So let's play again. Wait, so if I play now normally, if 
but it, ah, but it still plays from here because I think I have possess, right? Or a possess player one place in the world of uh, not this one here. If I disable, but it won't possess. It won't possess if I disable it. So I'm not sure how it will work. Yeah. Current camera location. Spawn the player. The yeah, you know, th this doesn't work because I have this custom player made. And I haven't. Yeah, I know how, why it doesn't work. Because I haven't uh, made it with. Uh, what was that? The game state and stuff like that. I just. Uh, it's just a player character that possesses, you know, takes position itself. So I didn't, I don't have a player uh, game state uh, that is actually suitable for this. And the problem is that I have a player that sticks to the ground. So even if I spawn here, it would fall to the ground. So I think the simulation, yeah, because see on the on the player itself on the character itself have i have a uh, grab uh, yeah no because i have a i use a grab function if you looked at my tutorial you would know this uh, there is a grab function that uses a physics constraint and so yeah it's tied into the player i could make it without the character that falls to the ground but yeah it's just like that Sorry if it's annoying. Um, I'll try to simulate, you know. But when I have to grab objects, I will uh, have to use the character. Okay, so yeah, again, I <laughs> did it again. Okay, simulate from here. So we'll have to put the balls, the stack of balls here. And you know what? There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to do it so here i put i put some glass it's a cube that has a glass material so it stops the ball but we can see them so we'll take the group actor from here and just move it like that okay so let's see i have to Okay, let's see here, we have this, is this thick enough to hold the balls in? I don't know, that's a weird sentence. Yeah, yeah, it's just like that, I would have to implement another character, you know, and well, for now, Right, this is too slow, that's better. I hope I don't, the movement doesn't make you sick or something. <laughs> uh, okay, so release arm. We have to scale this a bit. Like this. Wait. Scale. Wait, ah, no. I scaled the physics constraint. So be careful not to scale the physics constraint because it will get buggy. Okay, actually s happened earlier before when I made the, the scale here because I scaled these cubes for the plank and stuff and the, the, the physics constraint was a child and it didn't, it wasn't good. So let's see. Yeah, so because this is larger, it has a larger mass already, but we will make it fixed. Okay, so I'll put this to, was it three or something? I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, so that's good. So let's put some balls here. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the top. Uh, that's easier to see. What was it? That's here. So we have this here. Like that. Uh, perspective. Wait. 
I grabbed the cube, okay, that's not good. <clears throat> so let's see here, how does it work? Yeah, so already the ball is too heavy. So it, it pushes down on the object. So as you know, if you've watched my tutorials, you know that the the force of the physics constraint is scaled by the uh, well actually yeah, by the mass. So if this has really low mass in comparison to the uh, the sphere it will give way so let's look at the sphere here so this has five kilos well hmm. wait this has five kilos so we want this so yeah we can have this ball actually really light like one kilo or even half a kilo because we want them to accumulate in this platter and then tip this from from the other one so it, this the cube has five kilos here so we will need five balls to tip it over or f six actually so uh we'll put this one to one kilo so it should not be able to tip this anymore let's see haha <laughs> I was expecting that so it got stuck because this doesn't go up that much uh, so yeah what we could do here is get this closer in but that's not good because we will lower the force and I think the best thing to do is make these arms the cog as we called it bigger the key right so let's see. So we'll scale this uh, like that. Uh, let's put this to two. So I think it should work because what this will do is actually pull up more. Right? Okay, we don't care about that. So let's see again now. Yeah, starting to work, right? I don't like the force here, it wobbles too much, I need more force. I need more force. Scotty, need more force, okay. Uh, what was that? Wheel axis here, take... I need more power. Uh, wait, this was in... Wait, this is this is not good. Really some here. We need more power here. Uh, where was that? And the arm axis we put here. Let's put 300. We'll see if it's still good. That's good. That's good. That's nice. Yes. <laughs> More power. <laughs> yeah. So it works, you know. Let's just get this out of the way. Wait, wait, wait. This is a group. Ah, damn. Okay, which one? Ah, okay. I hate this now. Uh, okay, let's get this because I want to duplicate this, right? Put this here like that and wait if i do and ah we actually have to connect um we have to have them be on top of each other because the, if they all fall on each other it will push on this so that's not good so we'll push end here duplicate this okay so that's i think that's, that's enough and here and and no because it's intersecting the other one that's okay good get this back 
Okay. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that didn't work quite as expected, right? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Well, we've got a small problem, right? So how do we limit the balls so they don't? Mm, maybe, maybe. So first we need more force in the arm, right? Let's see. Let's bump this to 500, right? Okay, go back. Yeah, still not good. Yeah, let's do this with the wheel, as you say, faster. So we'll go to the, our generator. And you know what? Let's do some something cool. And let's change the speed of the generator dynamically. So let's add a variable here, speed, uh, wait, so uh, let's put delay, you know what, delay, it's just I'm not gonna calculate stuff now, let's just put delay here and we'll put float and we'll say here get like that and default, uh, need to compile for that, 0 0.2 see hmm. hmm so that's already better hmm that's already better cool that good good tip but we need more force here in this because it's still not enough let's put that let's go crazy put a thousand right well that's not crazy enough but let's see of course the wheel won't turn it oh it, it will yeah so i think the balls are, re are too small for this yeah that's the problem let's see because we need a ball that uh, that's exactly this size right so it doesn't wobble inside um well that scale let's put this to a top perspective yeah so here we'll scale this uh wait uh let's just get this closer this is not even that's not right oh it is okay okay so scale that's that's the lowest we have okay Wait, no, not that one. Uh, I think that's okay. Wait, that's. I think that's. Ev yeah, wait, wait, wait. That should be fine, right? Because that this won't let it move. In, inside. Uh, wait. So. Uh, we'll see if it works. Wait, no, 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 not play. Uh, perspective. So, <clears throat> we'll see the side of this and we'll just copy it. Or not, or not. No, that's not good. yes you're right i ha i do have i'm lazy i do have to do that let's stop let's go to top you're right because this is a mess but how do we uh, edit the group i don't know i don't know how we edit the group edit multiple assets hmm haven't actually used groups that much Edit, edit, uh, well, just break it on group, I think. 
Ah, unlock. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So. Just bring this closer. That's it. So here. I think we'll just leave a little bit more space. We don't want it to collide from the beginning. So if I do this, then groups lock again. That's good. Perspective again. Uh, and then let's just eliminate this. We can actually do a generator for these also. But yeah, we'll see. Well, I wanted this to be cyclical, but I don't know how to well, we'll have to see how we can do that. Wait, this is not right. <laughs> That's yeah, we need this. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. So duplicate everything. Okay. That's so and and Oh, well, actually, I could I could have done this, of course. And here, that's good. I think it's enough. So I'll we'll drag this here. Let's go to the top again. Where is this? Oh, that's almost perfect. So. Oh, you know what? It's starting to work. <laughs> That's too much. <laughs> Wait, why? Ah, uh, I know why. That we have a problem here. Yeah, it's because the balls are <laughs> are actually spawning one. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, because they are spawning at the same time, so they collide and stop. So let's see here, not what a droplet. Well, we could actually disable collision maker. Could make a channel for the water droplets, but uh, should we do that? I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if we should do that. Maybe we would. Mm. Either that or we could have two sources one here one here uh, maybe not sure about that mm, let's just get the speed lower a bit so we actually we can control this at runtime uh, wait, wait, wait. so we have to make this public that's the problem public here okay so if we might so let's put this to one let's just have this really lazy right but i can't select the actor now uh, uh, wait generator like that and then we just lower the delay might start it to work but yeah okay let's put this to 0 0.2 wait, wait, wait. We'll put this to 0 0.2 and that's it should i think it should be fine Hmm, this might be more difficult than expected. Uh, what can we do here? Uh, or we can certainly decrease the friction of this uh, of the wheel arms 
increase the mass of the water droplet uh yes i think you may be right because that's yeah i think well uh well maybe no but if we increase the mass does the inertia get bigger i don't think so wait inertia gets bigger but does it fall does it take more time to fall well not more but of course it won't but because when we let it go uh, uh, mm, let's see how is it uh, hide let's can we select yeah okay Okay, let's increase the mass and see what happens. So we have multiple uh, mass. Wait, I think we selected something different also. Yeah. So let's wait. So let's just put this to two kilos. How do you unhide stuff? Alt H, that's not it. I'm used to Blender, so that's it. Um, <laughs> unhide. Visibility, show all actors, okay. <laughs> ah. well hmm okay let's look at the thing here so this is actually not bad but i think we need this to be uh i think we need this to be rotated right i think we need it to be like this maybe a little bit i th probably uh no i think that's w well that would make it worse right uh come on okay let's see hmm first we have too many okay no we can uh wait can we scale this in a group Yes, we can. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Um, yes, you're right. So the pivot point of the arm has to be closer to the balls uh, here. So this has more torque. Right, you're right. You're right. But first, let's just get this upward a bit. And let's just test it like this. We'll do what, what you said, but I think it's better already. But you are probably right. So let's shift this. So release arm. We'll just shift uh, this. Mm, let's get this here, right? Mm -hmm. that's neither here nor there what's happening wait so uh, no like this and I th think I have to get this down a bit maybe we'll see I think the walls also play a part in it so let's see mm hmm so maybe this will get this upwards a bit. Let's see now. Uh, come on. Yeah, so it does have trouble. That means that let's look at this. Um, 
because of the force of the wheel uh, is actually proportional to its mass so if its mass is lower it won't be able to turn this so what we'll do is have this water wheel be heavier because I think it's too low now was it maybe it's so 50 kilos let's put this to 100 and we'll increase the mass of the water droplets also but I think it's this one water droplet sphere mass let's put this to 15 kilos maybe let's try again now oh that's so close to working that's cool <laughs> that's cool <laughs> okay so that actually works <clears throat> but not quite let's get this down a bit maybe makes a difference uh, no it doesn't let it go uh, I think yeah so I think in this group it's this wall that will have to get up a bit let's see uh, groups unlock so we'll take this wall and move it up a bit let's see Mm, too much I think wait so why does it stay up ah that's because it doesn't let it go up uh, so let's nearly there yeah <laughs> exactly so let me see the thing is we can play around with the friction of the arm but if we do then it's gonna the the balls will get <laughs> slippery that's uh, weird yeah um, <laughs> sentence um, the spheres will get slippery okay shorten the lever so the key releases it sooner so let's see I think what you mean is that I move it I move it uh, short uh, I think we have to move it further away because if I shorten I think yeah so let's take these yeah I think you're right but uh, where was uh, moving so I think this but does it move it enough so it doesn't move it enough but I think if we get this up a bit more uh, yeah uh, I think we're, we'll get to the same thing maybe come on so close <laughs> so I think that's it maybe yeah what we could do now is get this uh, get this yeah we could get this to be more more slippery so <laughs> and of course it doesn't release yeah that's because here it's we don't have uh, this is not constant right wait let's get this faster maybe a little bit faster so that means 18 here and I hope they won't spawn at the same time well no uh, so I think now it has to be a little bit closer yeah exactly needs to be a bit closer now like that uh, yes <laughs> that's it <laughs> well it misses a bit because it doesn't uh, it's not constant it doesn't have a constant speed but I think what we could do here is actually have this 
wall be slippery so we'll do just that uh, let's see here in the physics material uh, we'll do something like but I think I had well let's just create uh, so physics material like a, a yes so we have this slippery uh, it doesn't work why wait 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 uh, wait 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 this. that's it so let's go here so we'll say friction 0 0.1 save yes <laughs> that's it as you can see it let it uh, lets it exit so yeah that's the only uh, okay so what we can do to make that better it's override the friction combined here and say instead of average we'll say minimum so I will take the minimum of friction between this and the sphere let's try again now yeah that's it <laughs> okay so it works maybe a little bit closer maybe a bit closer I hope I'll, I don't ruin it okay that's it <laughs> yeah I think that's it <laughs> that's so nice it misses a bit but that's I think that's okay so beautiful right now okay so let's go to the top perspective here and let's take the uh, this thing here let's get it here like that I does it yeah so it does it does for for the further away so okay <coughs> So let's let's play again now. Hey, <laughs> that's so nice. And we'll get this here because it's supposed to be here. And let's try again now. Hey, <laughs> that's so nice yes perfect exactly well um, actually this is actually perfect but this the rotation of the wheel is not perfect so we can't do much about that but yeah so it works so what the only thing would be here to make a container so let's do that so let's add here let's, let's close all this because there's too much stuff so we'll open the scale uh, like that <coughs> well, let's see i think it was uh, rotated uh, uh, minus 90 so yeah it doesn't matter we'll rotate it afterwards so let's 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 make this one the left one because this in here would be le the left one so let's put the left one here so we'll just add some cubes as walls that's it so just duplicate this well we'll actually add a cube here add cube so we'll scale it down so uh, left oh uh, left ladder wall that's it one right and uh, we'll scale it on the y-axis so that's 0 0.05 we'll say i think that's it yeah that's good so let's get this here okay we need this uh, yeah that's we'll actually put it at the same x as this one so uh, minus 150 that's it here and let's just rotate it 45 degrees right uh, 
45. That's too much. I think 35 should be okay. And take it up a bit. Uh, in world scale like that. Uh, come on. So it doesn't have to be exact, but yeah, look at that. That's beautiful. So duplicate this. <coughs> and we have to mirror it. Does it support mirroring? Uh, you know, you know what? Let's just rotate it. I don't care. 90 degrees. That's it. So how's that? Uh, Hey, we forgot about this part. Great. <laughs> you know what? We'll just put a box with the. Uh, we can scale them, so that's okay. Scale them. Wait, not like that. Uh, that's in world. That's the problem. Wait. Uh, so scale them a bit, like this. It just it doesn't matter just so it holds the objects okay so duplicate this one uh, rotate it in world like that world 90 degrees and duplicate uh, another one another 90 degrees and that's it okay Come on, just get this here like that and yeah, so I think that's okay. It's more than enough to hold the other, the, the spheres, right? That's it. Need like a funnel or something. Yeah, I, we, yeah, that's what I'm trying to make, as you can see. But the thing is that I, yeah, I I should have modeled this, but I'm too lazy, so. Okay, so let's look at this. I don't want it to collide with the plank. Because when you when you disable the collision, so what we'll do here, we'll take all of this and we'll put a child. Uh, no, not right bladder, left bladder, so left one, okay. So now if I take the left bladder, should be able to move, yes. So the thing is here that even if these <coughs> are children of the left platter, they will collide with this because they are other components. So there's no way to disable the collision between these, the other child actors and this one, except using uh, either a channel or a collision channel or using a fake physics constraint that does, doesn't do anything and connects them. And then you check collision disable collision here but yeah just there's no point in doing that but i think it will work yeah we have to get this higher so then because the platter stays uh, well, let's try it out ah uh, yeah wait so yeah i think the masses of these add up that's the problem Yeah, so the masses of these add up to this, but I thought it, they didn't. That's weird. I thought they didn't. Uh, was it? Do we need some override mass or something? Wait. <coughs> Center of mass, mass scale. Well. So let's look at this. It has just one kilo. That's okay. Mm. Let's put this to zero point. Wait, the other one has how much? One, of course. Just set the mass to zero. I'm not sure it will work. I can't set the mass to zero. Wait, let's see. Yeah, no. 
I have to divide the mass. So this, I, this is this is what happens when I'm lazy. I, I should have just made the model in. You know what? We should should do that in Blender. That's so easy to do. Oh, cool. But this way we le learn more on religion. Yeah. Uh, well, so that will be 0 0.25. Let's let's put it like this. 0 0.25. 0 0.25. No. 0 0.2. Let's put it 0 0.2. I don't care. Uh, just so that means it's 0 0.8 right and another 0 0.2 and it should make to one kilo yes cool wait does it wait wait yeah that's good so of course we have to rotate it because it wasn't rotated correctly so 180 so here it sh that should be good oh man that's so cool wait let's put the, the counter weight uh, and okay mm <laughs> that's so cool so let's just put this to 20 right Yes, last one. <laughs> okay. <coughs> so yeah. So this would push on the wait, what? I thought it was moving. I think it was moving. Ah yeah, that's because I'm simulating. That's normal. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> Finally. I I wasn't I didn't think we would actually do it because uh, yeah <coughs> that was tricky okay so let's get this back here and let's F11 <laughs> that's so cool <laughs> and then wait uh wait so let's pretend they were actually <laughs> weighing stuff okay so when it this much gold we'll take this one okay that's so much that's so much okay take this one also that should be that should be okay ah uh, it's too little ah uh, put one more okay that was that's okay you give me one next time. It's okay. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> ah, okay. So. Whew. Uh, been already streaming for how long I don't know it's been a long time so yeah too much gold exactly <laughs> was, yes, that's why I was saying you know we just I think I left it so next time they will give you more you know they have a uh, debt to pay but yeah so wait let's look at this the sketch right so we have all of this done <coughs> so we would need the cannon and 
the um, switch hmm. switch is simple Canon almost and then we would need we would need a, a wall of cubes somewhere right but the thing is um, I'm thinking of taking a pause because taking a break because I've been at this for like I think three hours at least so I think I'll take a break and uh, get something to eat or something yeah Uh, yeah, I was thinking of that. I was thinking that I was thinking of something like other wait So I was thinking that the canal will shoot like this. Ah, so ah, wow, that's brilliant But we yeah, I yeah, that's brilliant So the canal will shoot like this and we have a funnel here <laughs> That would be awesome that would be awesome. So the the cannon would shoot back the balls from here, I think, or they would disappear somehow. Mm. You know what? That's a great idea, but how would we do that? So they would have to disappear from here and then be shot back into the funnel here. And this would work continuously, right? <laughs> that's awesome so but we would have to set the mass accordingly so this actually works continuously but that would be so awesome yeah <coughs> ah yeah um But you know what? I think I'm gonna take a break and I'll see you afterwards. Maybe the weight sensor. Maybe the weight has something that sucks the balls and sends them into the cannon. <laughs> that would be great. But how? I mean, uh, unless the cannon would be itself on this but uh, yeah we would need uh, we would need something like uh, we would need something like uh, a channel uh, yeah I'll, I'll think about this I'll think about this yeah I, I think it's been like three hours so I'll um, I'll be back at this because I actually haven't done what I wanted to do so this is one subject and I'll be discussing hey by the way I was a 999 let's see if I got that one subscriber no okay well <laughs> I said I wouldn't stop streaming until I get to 1000 but actually I will come back later and finish this so uh, yeah I wanted also to share uh, this the future plans for uh, yeah 999 yeah <laughs> exactly I wanted to share future plans for the channel so yeah I'll I'll, I'll be back with that because there weren't enough people and said, you know, I'll wait for later. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back maybe in one hour or something. And we'll definitely finish, finish this. So, yeah, uh, you can stay tuned somewhere. <laughs> but I'll, I think I'll close the stream and then I'll open it back when... Uh, 
yeah i think i'll close the stream there's no point in streaming with no content content so uh yeah so i'll see you later yeah thanks for um thanks for um for thinking around yeah bye bye